Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows 7 with Linux Mint 14. To start, right click Computer and click on Manage. We need to create a partition to install Linux Mint 14. Here, click on Disk Management, and like most people, I only have one hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and partition C drive. So, right click on the blue bar and select Shrink Volume. Here I have the available shrink space and the amount of space I wish to shrink. I'm not going to use 25 gigs, I'm only going to use 10. Since it's in megs, it's 10,000 megs. Then click on shrink. By the way, you need to download Linux Mint 14 ISO and burn it onto a disk. I should have said that at the beginning. I have a few links in the description box that can help you do this. Once you have created the partition, place the Linux Mint 14 disk in the drive and restart Windows 7. When you restart Windows 7 it should ask you to uh, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press the enter key. If you don't see this you need to change the boot sequence in the BIOS. I have a link in the description box that can help you do this. An automatic boot countdown will begin for Linux Mint 14 and in the GUI here click on install Linux Mint select the language and then click on continue continue again and installation type select something else continue and here make sure you select the free space we created not the NTFS those are the uh, Windows 7 and click on add so here select logical partition for the swap area and here I'm going to select a thousand megs for the size of the swap area which is 10% of the disk space location for new partition is beginning and it's gonna be used as swap area then click on OK perfect it has created the uh, swap area here as you can see now select again the free space and then click on add here select primary partition not logical I'm gonna use the remainder of the free, of the free space at the uh, beginning use as ext4 journaling mount point root and click on OK now select the uh, ext4 not the swap area and click on install now time zone select the time zone and then click on continue keyboard layout enter your credentials here once you're done click on continue and if you want to log in automatically or not Now here you can import any user accounts from your Windows operating system but I'm not so I'm just going to click on continue. I'm going to fast forward the installation here but this can take a while. And perfect once you're done click on restart now. and when it restarts you should get this menu here you can boot off Linux Mint 14 or Windows 7 I'm gonna select Windows Mint 14 so we can finish the installation perfect I have successfully boot off Linux Mint 14 now I'm gonna restart and boot off Windows 7 thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.